All right, welcome back everyone. Today we've got just really kind of a discussion, a little bit of an overview, show and tell of this Odin Custom Knives Ripper. Now I've done several videos on rippers before, so I won't bore you with all of the specs and sizes and all that stuff on this video. Um, but here's a little bit of information on this particular one. And really cool, it's a titanium uh, certificate of authenticity in a 3D printed little valet, valet here, if you will, um, that Odin 3D prints out himself. It's just, it's cool. You can, you know, stick it on your dresser or whatnot if you like. And then it comes with this really cool leather slip, leather sheath for the actual knife, which is right here. So we're gonna put this off to the side because nobody really cares about the packaging stuff other than me and so you know yeah just deal okay so this particular model of knife is not really my aesthetically favorite style knife okay um it's just not and and i like some extreme aggressive weird shapes this one just doesn't do it for me and that's okay it does it for Anthony, who owns this. It was gracious enough to let me see it before he's seen it. And I've had it for too long. He went on vacation. I took the weekend to go to Blade Show West 2024 um, and all of that. So anyway, I just want to bust this out real quick. Get in the mail tomorrow after filming this back. Well, not even back to the owner, but to the owner for the first time. Like I've had it probably a month already. So, um, but it's super cool. Him and I are super tight. We talk all the time, it's fine. Um, so you have the Baker Forge, what is it, Baker Forge and Tool? I think is how they, it. but it's Baker Forge. They make the steel. They make so many different patterns of steel and different compositions of things and whatnot. It's crazy. Okay, so you've got the Baker Forge steel. Uh, I don't know if this is, I think the backspacer is actually Mokume, as well as the backspacer, I think. I mean, the pocket clip and the backspacer. Ah, this is maybe the same steel. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on. Um, but the backspacer is Mokume, it looks like for sure. The pocket clip, it's hard to say, I'm not sure. They all kind of look the same at some level. Um, that could either be, it, it's a little bit darker than Mokume. So I think it is the same steel as the blade, as well as the pivot collar. Now you will notice here that uh, Kyle Odin did not resharpen this one after he etched it because Anthony is a master craftsman sharpener, does really great mirror polishes. Um, and so the story is that he left it for Anthony to do. Um, I think reality, he just forgot to re refinish this, the sharpening, which is fine. Stuff happens at these prices though. Yeah, I get it. We should have a perfect knife come to us, but Anthony's going to sharpen this anyway. So it's not really a big deal. Now, Baker Forge, they make so many different things, right? Now I have mentioned before, I have a secret project number one that is underway as we speak. Trust me, end of October, you guys will know. I can't talk about it too much but it is using a big chunk of billet from baker forge okay that's all i can really say uh and somebody is actively working on a special project for me okay secret project special project number two we're in the discussions phase there is a billet of damascus i don't remember who it's from at a different maker and we're in discussions about things. 
That one you're going to want to stay tuned for also. Both of them. You're going to want to keep up on Special Projects 1 and 2. Okay? So what's really cool about this, not this specific knife, but this... What's cool is I got to do a video a long time ago, a year or two, of one of Kyle Oden's very first prototype knives. And I owned it for a little bit. And it was super cool now to have come full circle with Oden's knives and be filming some of his latest iterations. Because the quality that I have seen him evolve into is phenomenal from that very first one that I filmed, which wasn't his first knife, but it was an early on prototype. It was rough. It was still cool, but it was, it was rough and there was room for improvement. And what I've really enjoyed about Kyle is he and I have talked throughout those years and I've given, he's taken what I've said from the videos and implemented it. A lot of times I talk about the pocket clip not working. This particular pocket clip, as I'm trying it in my pocket, works great. It is a little softer material, so it's going to bend. So this is not really practical pocket clip because it is going to be so bendy. Um, but uh, this is really not something that the owner is going to carry. I'm sure people do carry them. A lot of times we just collect to collect. But it's been really great to, to talk with um, Kyle on the phone. We've had him on the EDC Hour, my podcast. Um, and he really does take to heart the comments, the criticisms, if you will, that people have about his product. And he tries to make tomorrow's knife better than the knife he made today. So I really do appreciate that about him. And it's been fun to tag along with him and Anthony in this journey. I think this is number, I'm going to guess, 15 of Odin knives that Anthony has. I'm guessing it's number 15. Could be 16 or 17. I'm not sure. It's somewhere in that 15 range. And he has that original prototype that I got to handle in his collection as well. So it's super cool to kind of be involved in that little family community, if you will. So I don't know, there you go. Some ramblings about Odin Customs and the Ripper. If you've got questions, let me know. I'm gonna put a link to his, to my playlist of Odin Knives that you can check out all of the iterations I've done, different rippers, several different models along the way, some crazy exotics with meteorite to some just standard-ish models. So yeah, he does everything from plain Jane to crazy exotic with um, damage steel and meteorite and crazy stuff. So go check out the playlist, have yourselves a fantastic day, and uh, you know there'll be another video tomorrow.